Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and uh, these clips are possibly over three weeks old. It's just been rough with illness in the house for a while. Valentine's Day has passed, so I'm going to take down those decorations. It's funny because I usually do it like the night of a holiday or the day after, so I must have been busy or off my game this week. So I made meatballs for dinner. We have some leftover salad in the fridge. This is the soup that's actually just been sitting on the stove for a while. So time to put that away in case anybody wants it. I made spinach and I also made rice. You can tell what the kids like. <laughs> well, my daughter. Yeah, so that is what for what's for dinner. People can pick. I cleared my shelves of my Valentine's Day decorations and now I'm gonna put up uh, St. Patrick's Day. I have just a small collection of things that have shamrocks and four leaf clovers. Um, little candy box that I picked up recently and this is one that I got a long time ago. Little pipe with 1936 written on it. Some die cuts. Some real plants. And then in the fall I got all of these pieces which I'm not going to keep all of them but I'm going to put a couple on display. It's a small collection, it's manageable, it fits in that little box, and I think it's the perfect touch at the end of the hallway, but so easy to put them out and then to pack it up and store it away. A couple pictures of the kids. I'm gonna leave that out because it's got a little green in it, plus I like it moving into spring. For dinner, we have salmon and some salad. On another night, I made cod. I baked that in the oven, and we had salad to go along with this as well. I'm currently working on dinner. I made meat sauce, so I've got some noodles for the kids. Spaghetti squash is in the oven. Meat sauce is here. And then the kids also requested some garlic bread, so I've never made that before. I've got olive oil, butter, a little bit of uh, garlic powder, and then on this side I added some fresh garlic and Parmesan cheese. This is just some pizza dough from Trader Joe's, so we'll see how it turns out. Let's see, it is end of February, maybe the 26th, I think. Uh, no, the 25th. And uh, we've got little buds on the daffodils, which this is normal for this time of year. It's just exciting to see those. And the forecast said, yes, there could be a little bit of snow, but really no more chance of anything significant. So we did get more snow, I think, than we have in the past few years, but not like we were hoping for. Nothing that um, shut us down for days at a time, just like one snow day. Here's an update on the basement floor. So my husband has, I think, done all the molding and caulked, and now it's just time to paint. Uh, this molding is not put down though, because he doesn't want to do that until we tile. And you can see it's bright white, it's just primed. The molding is gonna go, you know, a normal kind of semi-gloss, glossy white. And then I need to pick out the paint colors um, for the wall. But we did get ceiling paint, that's just gonna be like a white ceiling paint. So there is stuff to do. So I think we'll do the, the ceiling and the trim first and then um, the walls. I have not been much of a help. I have this ear infection that just won't go away and I can't hear out of my one ear. So I've been just not feeling great. Um, but it's, you know, in general put back, even the couch goes back further. It, it almost feels more spacious, which is well, it's probably because all of the desk and the art and the things aren't there anymore. And even this isn't even fully pushed back, but he's created these moldings at the bottom of the doors. So obviously those will be painted as well. And I've picked out a color that's as close to this wall as I can find. It's called Moonlit Orchid, something like that. Um, I thought that I had saved the tops of these that had the names on them and I can't find them. So I just got a couple samples and held it up and I think that's what we're gonna go with. Those are not it, buddy, though. Those were the options that didn't work out. Those were from Home Depot, but I think we found the match at Lowe's. So we did, we went to two different Home Depots. 
So he's got the molding here at the bottom of this door, and he's going to replace this. Um, we've actually had this ever since we bought the house, so he's just gonna do that because I think they painted that the same color as the wall. And I believe he's caulked as well, so it's all ready for paint. Looks so nice. The other thing that he did is he worked on the ceiling. So the ceiling, you could see a joint right here. We thought it was maybe like tape coming down, but I think it was just the ceiling that shifted. And when we looked up close, um, you could see they never put enough like spackle or mud, whatever you want to call it, over top of the tape because you could still see the grid texture. So he's put a couple coats of that. Now he's got a I think he's going to try and wet sponge it, but most likely going to have to, to sand it. So he's patched a couple other spots, just getting it ready. In the oven, I've got uh, green peppers, onions, broccoli, and cauliflower with like olive oil and some spices. So we'll have roasted vegetables and the pot roast because my husband will not eat these. The kids will love that. He'll have the meat and the roasted vegetables. They'll have the meat and the potatoes and carrots. I came home from work and my mom said that the daffodils were blooming and they are. I cannot believe it. And then I see that there's some buds on the azalea and then I see grape hyacinth and it's like, oh my gosh, spring has come early. And this was even a few days ago. So right now they really are blooming. Um, more of the muscari, little snowdrops. So it's wild. And that's the poppies that are starting to come up and buds on all the hydrangeas. I feel like this is just a tad early for us, but I mean, it was cold at the beginning of winter and then stopped. I made chicken drumsticks for dinner, um, olive oil, a little bit of wine, lemon juice, turmeric, um, paprika, garlic, salt, pepper, oregano, and a little bit of dry ranch powder. <laughs> so I think they turned out really nice. Put, did them in the oven, and then we had salad as well. So we've already eaten, and these will be for tomorrow. The weather was so nice today. We went to the park because they actually put in new uh, playground equipment. So we've been here almost 16 years and they just replaced it. It was getting, you know, pretty old. Just the, the weather and the seasons have worn down what was there. So my son was so excited. He's been asking and asking and it, it was finally open and also nice weather. Um, this weekend I did errands and I stuck around the house. Um, we're in general better I still think my daughter has a little something and she can't hear, you know, she has muffled hearing and I can't hear out of my one ear. And I'm just exhausted from working through all of it um, and worried about my ear, worried about hers. It's just been rough. Um, so that's why I haven't had much to film. And when I have, then, you know, I feel guilty filming. And then someone might say, well, why did you say no to this obligation or that? I'm like, I just need to take time for myself and be home with my family and reduce some stress. <laughs> so hopefully next weekend, I, whatever activities and obligations, I'll return to them. But I just needed some me time this weekend. So that involved going to the thrift store, not for long though, grocery shopping, um, sitting in front of the fire, resting when I need to rest, or resting when I needed to rest, and uh, organizing this room. I was sick of seeing the piles of stuff. Um, so stuff went to savers, stuff went upstairs, um, in boxes to be donated to the hospital sale. There is bulk pickup tomorrow. So we put a bunch of stuff out on the curb, hoping people would get it today before it went to the landfill, which was a success. Um, so it just feels nice and reorganize. I just needed something spring-like. I pulled out my spring perfumes. We walked around the yard um, and saw the flowers. Yes. So at Savers, I picked up a few clothes things. I got this velvet top from The Gap. It is definitely a different style um, than I would normally wear. 
and it does hit me at the waist, although I think it's short. I'd rather have a longer top, but I put it on over top of a dress and I liked the way it looked. So maybe I can find some type of um, dress that has a pleated skirt with a different top and then slip this on top of it. Um, and it's black. The velvet top was from The Gap. Um, this is a blue and white striped sweater with a zip. It is Workshop Republic Clothing and uh, I was drawn to it. I liked it. I liked the way it looked. There's so many blouses I see that I, I love and um, the arms are way too long so that was nice. That sweater fit perfectly. A nice black t-shirt. It's it's stretchy and a lightweight material that I like that's perfect to go under cardigans. Just got lint on it, but it, it was in great shape. That is Active Basic. And then Shop Basic, this dress. It's got three-quarter length sleeves with a little flare. It has pockets. It's a nice length, so could be for work. Could be the perfect summer dress that you like sleep in and then you wake up and you can walk outside and you just look like you're dressed. <laughs> so everything needs to be washed, but I got that. I got a few other things too. All the clothing pieces worked out to probably be around $250 to $6 a piece. So they were great prices. I got my daughter a velvet dress. It was like $13.50, but then take off 20%. So it was, we'll say $10. So really good prices. I picked up this skirt thinking maybe I would wear it. It was only about $354. What's the brand? Oh, Valerie Stevens. Um, it fits. I don't think it's flattering though. It has nice big pockets. I love pockets though. Uh, but I thought even if I don't wear it, it is a lot of beautiful velvet with this amazing design on it. Very William Morris-esque if uh, Lindsay is watching. And I thought that could be so nice to frame and then put something on top of it. So getting a piece of clothing, but using it for craft supplies, art supplies, fabric is a really good way to get something nice for inexpensive. Sterling Creamer was a little under $5. Yes, it's dented, um, but I just pile stuff up like this in the corner cabinet. Uh, it would actually be nice in here. And then I've got these perfumes, these little vials that I want to stick in something. So maybe that'll be it. But I do want to polish it up just a little bit more. Um, also, like <laughs> when you go to Savers and there's a piece of sterling there that they put out, like you don't leave it even if it's got a dent. What does that say? I think it says weighted. Yeah, I don't know what brand that is though. FB? I can't tell. This is the dress that I picked up for my daughter. It is Sandro Paris. I Googled it at the store. I think it came up in Canadian dollars, but a dress said like it was $450. I don't know. And I don't know what the conversion rate is, but it seemed pretty expensive. So this wound up being around $10. Beautiful green with this uh, these like drapey, sleeves a little like pleating there looks like it would have had a belt that was missing and a little flare skirt like this would be so beautiful for her for church or christmas uh, and she she loved it and just a few things i did pick up two of these mannequins they're from 2001 scarlet josephine they also had one that said lucy so must have been collector's pieces that costumes would be on. Uh, I got one for myself and one for my daughter. We picked up the ones that had the little gold tops, some acrylic looking base, but I thought jewelry, necklaces, beads on them. My daughter loves to create outfits for them. And those were, I think, $6 a piece. I got the rest of those little mini crowns. Those will just be so perfect to place around. One's red, the rest are purple. Some have green and red and pearl embellishments. And they're about an inch, inch and a half. Now that I have the furniture where I want it, I can spend some time arranging in here, although I think it's kind of fine how it is, but I wanna make sure everything can be seen. I added this piece, look at it. It's got this uh, purple, dark purple ribbon 
looks like a crown and it says Jubilate Deo, an original poem by Emily Thatcher Bennett. It was printed in Germany. It has these really pretty illustrations. I don't know if there's a date on it. I don't believe I see a date and I have not read the whole thing, but it seems like it's an Easter poem and about resurrection. And lastly, I got this frame. It was $5 also. I don't know, five or six dollars. I got it because it matches the blue glass. I've totally been into Art Deco recently. So I just have it propped up here. So the entire room got a rearrange yesterday. Like that's what my brain could comp comprehend and do. And I'm so happy when my daughter, she was out, she came back and she said, oh, I just love it because I did take this from her room and paint it. And she said, Oh, it looks perfect in there. I'm so glad you changed the color. Like she said, she loved the setup. She loved the books. And it, made, it meant a lot to me because I really enjoy this. So if someone compliments it, especially your daughter, whose uh, table you just confiscated from her room, <laughs> then you knew you, knew you did well. Um, so that'll be it for this video. Very sorry that it's been a long um, time coming with these old clips. And... Our, I feel like as soon as I can hear again, I will be back to my old self. But yeah, I guess positive thoughts and prayer are appreciated. And uh, hopefully the next video doesn't take this long to come out. And uh, I don't know. I've got something interesting to share. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.